हेलो व्यूअर्स आई एम मिस्टर दिलीप कुमार पाल स्टैंड बिफोर यू विथ अ टॉपिक चाइल्ड एब्यूज मीनिंग ऑफ चाइल्ड एब्यूज टाइप्स ऑफ चाइल्ड एब्यूज इंपैक्ट्स ऑफ चाइल्ड एब्यूज एंड रोल ऑफ लेजिस्लेचर एग्जीक्यूटिव जुडिशरी टू कंट्रोल चाइल्ड एब्यूज दिस चाइल्ड एब्यूज इज ए टॉपिक व्हिच इज फाउंड इन प्लस थ्री फिफ्थ सेमिस्टर एथिक्स एंड वैल्यू पेपर एंड द नेम ऑफ द पेपर इज भूलरेबल सेक्शन ऑफ सोसाइटी अंडरस्टैंडिंग देयर इश्यूज बट बिफोर आई डिस्कस चाइल्ड एब्यूज मीनिंग आई वॉन्ट टू इन्फॉर्म माई फ्यूअर्स दैट नेम ऑफ माई चैनल इज एट द रेट दिलीप कुमार पाल नाइन थ्री सेवन फाइव यू विल सर्व दिस चैनल इन यूट्यूब और गूगल यू विल फाइंड वीडियोज रिलेटिंग टू पोलिटिकल्स एंड ऑनर्स फ्रॉम प्लस थ्री फर्स्ट सेमिस्टर टू सिक्स सेमिस्टर एथिक्स एंड वैल्यूज फ्रॉम प्लस थ्री फर्स्ट सेमिस्टर टू फिफ्थ सेमिस्टर पोलिटिकल्स एंड जेनरल रिलेटिंग From plus three first semester to second semester, environmental studies of plus three first semester, and polit political science videos of plus two first year and plus two second year, both all videos are in Odia and English form. Any video you will find in Odia, be sure that its English version is there. Any video you will find in English, be sure its Odia version is there. And any topic you want, just write the name of the topic and subject. in google or youtube you will get both odia and english video let us start child abuse what is the meaning of child abuse children are the future of the country better their health nurture and education a nation will get better future citizens but there are various problems relating to children among the child abuse is a serious problem children are the future citizens of a country better the health of their children better their education better their nurture or care better citizens will be available for a country but so far as citizens are concerned but so far as children are concerned there are various problems relating to them one is child abuse what is child abuse meaning of child abuse child abuse means any intentional harm or mistreatment to a child below the under 18 years old child abuse means any intentional harm or mistreatment to a child under 18 years old it it may be physical relating to body sexual relating to sex emotional relating to feeling psychological relating to mind or mental child abuse means if there will be any intentional harm or mistreatment to the child below the age of 18 years is known as child abuse so child abuse means if there will be intentional harm or intentional mistreatment to a child below the age of 18 years it is known as child abuse it may be physical relating to their body it may be sexual relating to their sex it may be emotional relating to their feeling it may be psychological relating to their mind or mental mental so child abuse means if there will be intentional harm or intentional mistreatment to child below the age of 18 years is child abuse the abuse may be physical relating to their body emotional relating to their feeling sexual relating to their sex psychological relating to their mind or mental so we are clear about the meaning of child abuse now discuss types of child abuse child abuse are four types number one physical abuse physical abuse is defined as physical injury caused by punching beating kicking choking it is visible form of child ill treatment it is made by parents outsiders and caretakers whenever there will be any harm to the body of the child it is known as the physical abuse the harm is made either by punching choking 
kicking and beating. So whenever there will be any physical harm to the child by any type of attack, maybe punching, choking, beating, it is physical abuse. It is caused by parents, outsiders and caretakers. Number two, emotional abuse. It is also known as verbal abuse or mental abuse or psychological abuse. It is, it may not hurt the body but can be just as painful and distressing in other way. It includes confinement of the child in a room, being tied to a chair for a long time or terrorizing a child. Another type of abuse is emotional abuse. Emotional abuse means it is also known as verbal abuse or mental abuse or psychological abuse. It may not hurt the body, it may not harm the body, but can be just as painful and distressing in other ways. It includes confinement of the child in a room, being tied to a chair for a long time or terrorizing the child. So, second one is the emotional abuse. Emotional abuse is otherwise known, is otherwise known as the verbal abuse or mental abuse. It is a type of abuse which will not make harm to the body. But it is as much painful as distressful. For example, confine a child in a room for a long time or tied a child with a chair for a long time or terrifying a child is are the example of emotional abuse. Number three, sexual abuse. It means involvement of a child in any sexual activity that she or he does not fully understand and approve it. Sexual abuse means whenever a child will be forced to be involved in sexual activity to which he does not understand and he will not approve, it is sexual abuse. So sexual abuse means whenever a child will be forced for sexual work, it is sexual abuse. He may not understand it, he may not approve it, but he will be forced to be involved in sexual activity. It is known as sexual abuse. It is two types like contact type and non-contact type. Sexual abuse two types, contact type and non-contact type. Contact type includes kissing, kissing, rare holding in a sexual abuse manner sexual abuse manner so contact type means whenever there will be physical touch like kissing raping and holding in a sexual abuse manner hold a manner hold in a sexual abuse manner it is contact type um, sexual abuse non-contact type Abuse is where a child is abused without being touched by abuser. Non-contact type abuse means a child will be abused without contact by the abuser. The abuser will not contact him, will not have physical touch, but he will, a child will be abused. How? It includes showing pornography, adult pictures, voyeurism, B O Y E U R I S M. Child will be forced to see uh, sexual pictures, showing sex video online, etc. These are non-contact child abuse. Now you see neglect. It is another type of child abuse. It is a kind of abuse which involves depriving a child of adequate food, clothing, shelter, education, and medical care. So neglect is another type of uh, child abuse when child will, be, will not be given sufficient food clothes then uh, shelter educational facility medical facility it is known as neglect abuse so neglect abuse means whenever the child will be abused by not giving food shelter cloth medical facilities educational facilities it is also a neglect abuse of the child so we are clear about the meaning of child abuse types of child abuse now you see Impacts of child abuse. What impacts child will have if you will be abused? Number one, learning and developmental problem. Continuous child abuse affects their mental ability, 
of learning and their body genetic development self. So, the impact of child abuse is that if a child will be abused, he will not have mental development, he will not have also physical development. Continuous child abuse affects their mental ability of learning. If child will be abused, he will not have interest to learn. Then their body genetic development cell, their body genetic development cell will be affected. Then number another impact is mental health problem. Frequent child abuse lead to mental problem like depression, anxiety. If child will be abused, then there will be mental health problem. It will affect their his mental condition. It will create depression, anxiety. He will be fearful. He will be always fearful. They also suffer from PTDS. They will, they will suffer from a child will be abused. Child will suffer from PTDS. PTDS. PTDS means post traumatic stress disorder. Post trauma traumatic stress disorder means disease related to mind. If child will be abused, then there will be disease in his mind. It is known as P PTDS. PTDS. Post traumatic stress disorder. Then youth suicide. Sometimes due to child abuse, there is shock, trauma, shock means trauma in the child which leads to commit suicide. Sometimes due to child abuse, abuse, child may commit suicide. Then fourth, CSA, Central Sleep Apnea, A-P-N-E-A, CSA, Central Sleep Apnea or and Chronic Nervous Neurological Disease. If child abuse may, may lead to CSA Central Sleep Apnea A-P-N-E-A Apnea means breathing problem and chronic neurological disorder there will be problem in his nerve system then self-harm child abuse sometimes lead to self-harm sometimes the child will harm to himself out of anger it means child makes harm to their body then behavioral problem, another impact is behavioral problem. This is the sixth one. Sometimes child abuse lead to sadness. Child will become sad. Angriness will be angry. Anxiety. Then he will show the fearfulness. Depression, nervousness in the child. So these are the all impacts on child abuse. Now you see. Legislative, executive and judicial role to control child abuse. To control child abuse, legis what role legislative, executive, judicial has? Number one, role of legislature to control child abuse. To control child abuse, what role legislature has? In 2012, POCSO, 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 protection of child children from sexual offense was passed to control child abuse in 2012 POCSO P -O -C -S -O, protection of children from sexual offense was passed to deal with issue of sexual offenses against children for first conviction there is jail for 5 years and for subsequent conviction 7 years jail and imprisonment, seven years imprisonment and fine. So, what role the legis what role the legislature plays to control child abuse? Legislature is passed in 2012. Pokso. In Pokso, there is in the first conviction five years imprisonment, in subsequent conviction seven years imprisonment and fine. Then, role of judiciary. Indian judiciary made many guidelines to protect children from abuse. Indian judiciary has made many guidelines to protect child abuse. Role of executive. Executive has decided to start FIR related to POCSO immediately. Executive has decided to start FIR, first information report, FIR related to POCSO immediately. Executive has ordered to start FIR case related to POCSO immediately. There will not be delay. 
Police has been instructed not to make any delay in this context. Police has been instructed not to make any delay relating to FIR, relating to POXO. Matter relating to child abuse. So in this video we discussed meaning of child abuse, types, impacts and role of legislature and judiciary to control child abuse. So I request my viewers to subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed and ever of your friends to subscribe so some students will be benefited. If you will help any students, you will get mental pleasure. Just try to help any student, you will get your mental pleasure. Thank you. Have a nice day.